burger, bite, and everything nice. <laughs> What's up you guys, Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, where have I been? This coronavirus has honestly put me on edge and honestly, I've been all over the place. I've been a mess, but we here, we good. I'm just gonna go and get my nails done. This is just gonna be a regular quarantine vlog. I'm just gonna bring you along with me. I haven't done my nails obviously in over a month since I've been self-quarantined, so today's the day that I'm gonna get to do my nails and my feet, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and I'm so excited. I can't really do too much of an intro because I'm actually really late to my nail appointment, so I will come back to you guys in a bit. Hey, what is up you guys? So I'm back. I actually just finished getting my nails done and my feet and they look absolutely absolutely amazing I know my intro was a little rushed but that was because I was rushed and I was actually super late to my nail appointment and she lives like 45 minutes away she's so fire she's so good I'll leave her Instagram down below on the description box if you do live like in the Miami North Miami area or around there anywhere in Miami I guess I'll leave it there for you guys she's so good and she's so talented I've been going her going to her for about a year now I decided to get them a little extra long today I'll show you guys when I go inside but Look, here are the nails. I decided to get them extra long because that's what I was in the mood for. Um, the last time that I went to her, she did them a little too short. I went too short, maybe because it's been like a hot minute since I've gone, so I thought they were long. But then when she actually did it, it was actually really short, and I was like, oh no, I wanted them extra long. So today I decided to go longer. I always say, always go longer because you can go shorter. You can never go from short to long. I love them. I love them so much. And I actually just went to Claire's and I bought anklets and toe rings for only fans thank you guys so much for supporting me on my decision on making an only fans some of you guys have subscribed and have supported me on there and you guys love it and you guys love the content honestly it makes me feel so great and so amazing that you guys are supporting me in that as well you guys are so amazing you guys I can tell you guys that I'm doing anything and you guys will be like yes queen and I'm like I don't deserve you guys. But yeah, I got my hands and feet done, so I want to take some feet pics for, you know, the feet people on OnlyFans. And yeah, I've been having a lot of fun, you guys. Honestly, it's... I know a lot of people have their opinions on OnlyFans and I respect every single person's opinion but again at the end of the day it is the person's choice because it is their body. I'm having fun with it for my creative like pictures and just like just feeling all around confident in myself I've had a lot of fun with it and also it's built up my confidence a lot in the body that I'm in right now because I'm obviously not in the best shape right now um, because of the coronavirus and not having my smell and taste still I've been having a lot of trouble with my diet and staying active and things like that so I don't look the best but people on my only fans like just boost me up so much and like they love it and they love my content and it's just helped a lot with my self-esteem and I feel like that's a really really positive positive touch that came with it but yeah I got some some anklets and some toe rings and I also got some new outfits for my OnlyFans that I'll show you guys when I go inside um I know I've gotten a few questions on like what I wear because I know some of you guys also want to start you guys want then shoot me a dm and we can work on this together and I can give you some pointers on what's helped me I think this Friday or Saturday this Friday would be two weeks that I've been on OnlyFans and yeah I've been having a blast but enough on OnlyFans um today's vlog is just a random vlog but like I said earlier I still don't have my smell or taste it's been a little over a month already that I haven't had it. I'm trying to stay as positive as possible. I've seen some videos that you guys have sent me mostly to smell like essential oils and things like that and try to get my sense of smell because it's connected to your taste to get it going. So I have my tea tree oil and I've been like sniffing it around. So I know they also recommend eucalyptus. I think I have some eucalyptus in the house. That's what I've been doing. I'm just going to go inside. Uh, my mom got me some chipotle even though I can't taste it um obviously i'm still gonna eat it so yeah i'll show you guys when i go inside my anklets my toe rings and my outfits if you guys are interested in those and yeah let's just see what else the day has in store for us and yeah i love you guys so much i just felt like i had to say that because you guys are just so nice and so good to me yeah i'm just gonna go inside <laughs> i love my new camera you guys isn't that incredible look how fast like it like focuses do you see that do you see that that's wild that's crazy that's crazy. Whoa, first of all, oh, also, look at my skin. I know I get a lot of compliments on my skin, you guys, but I am not having a good skin couple of days, as you can see. Look at that. I am breaking out. Oh, okay, well, this camera, this camera. <laughs> but yeah, look, you guys, I do not have perfect skin. I have really bad under eye circles, top and bottom. I'm sure you guys know this. I never wear makeup in my videos. My skin seems a little oily because... I put on moisturizer and my skin's been going through a really, really weird phase in where 
after I get out of the shower, it's super dry, like cracking. And then let's say if I don't put anything on by the end of the day, I'm dripping in oil. And it's like, okay, she's very confused. I think it's also because of my period too. And I've been super like hinchada. Oh, I've been a mess, a fucking mess. Here's my super boring Chipotle bowl. So I have double steak, double cheese, sour cream, lettuce. And I got a side of guac. Don't mind, it looks like that because it's been sitting out waiting for me. And a side of queso. This is gonna be my only meal of the day, I think, today. And then maybe a snack later. Or I think actually for dessert, I've been enjoying the perfect keto cookies smashed up with almond milk because it feels good and I feel that it's sweet. Again, you guys, I can't taste any of this. I have no sense or taste or smell. But it makes me sad. I've been craving Chipotle like crazy. I actually told myself the first meal that I was going to have probably was going to be Chipotle when I get my smell and taste back because I don't want to have this when I can't smell or taste it. But whatever. My mom got it for me, so of course I'm going to have it. We're trying to behave. It's been really hard for me to behave, you guys. My mouth just has been out of control. Hey, what's up, you guys? So I finished my Chipotle and honestly, I'm a little full, so I didn't even really finish everything. It was really unsatisfying since I couldn't taste it. And the texture was really weird. It wasn't good at all. I really didn't like it. So I didn't finish it. And honestly, I'm not even all that hungry. Now I'm just going to show you guys my outfits that I've gotten for OnlyFans. So you guys get a little special sneak peek because I actually, I've only worn two of the ones that I'm going to show you right now. The rest I haven't worn yet. So YouTube gets an exclusive look. I hope you guys enjoy this little sneak peek. Again, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. All right, so first is this little baby blue over the shoulder kind of puffy sleeves. Again, I got this all on Amazon and it's little polka dots and it's so cute. And it comes with a little matching thong. And I got this, I believe, in a size large. So that's the first one. I thought it was super cute, super cute, very baby doll-esque. I kind of want to put on my blonde wig for this one. I don't know. I have like a whole look for it. I kind of want to put like a white backdrop and put like a blanket over and make it like really, really soft and really cute. So that's the idea that I have for that one. It kind of almost doesn't really fit me if it's me uncomfortable, but you know, maybe I can work something out in the photos. I don't know. This one is, was probably the most uncomfortable one. I'll put a picture over here of the bottom, but it was so beautiful. It looked so good on, but it took me no lie, like 30 minutes. Sorry, you guys, for the dog hair. This is why it was a bad idea to get black sheets because my dog's dog hairs are everywhere. So this one is more of like a strappy underwire kind of bra. My boobs didn't really fit. I had to like almost tape like the nipple area so it wouldn't come out. But it looks really beautiful. It's really elegant and it was super cheap. It was like $18 on Amazon. I got it in a size large. So over here, you can see it has like three straps. You can also adjust the straps if you want it to be tighter or looser, which I love, especially for bigger girls like me. I love when it has adjustable straps, especially since I'm really wide in the back and in the arm area. So we have this over here and it's like really good material and it's like sewed really nice. The bottom, I'm not even gonna bother <laughs> to try and show you guys, look. So the bottoms are like strappy bottoms but you literally have to figure it out on your own. It literally took me like half an hour to figure it out. The reviews on Amazon will literally tell you to not buy it because of that reason. But if you have patience and you figure it out, it's so worth it. It looks so beautiful. Like these pieces look so sexy in such an elegant way that you guys need to honestly get this. Again, I told you guys I'm gonna leave this all my Amazon favorites in my, I forgot what I named it, but you guys will know which one it is. And again, I got this one in a large, also super, super stretchy material. You guys can't really tell, but <laughs> this is the bottoms. But yeah, so this is this one. This one was $18. I think that one was like around the same price range. They're all pretty much the same price range. They're really, really cheap and they're really good material. The next one I got, I got a bodysuit. So I got this white bodysuit. This one had a lot of really, really good reviews because people also use it as a bodysuit under jeans or like to go out and things like that. Hold on, let me put it nice for you guys. So I got it in white. I like to get bodysuits a size, one size bigger just because like the nooks and crannies of my body like i don't like it to be too tight and then me look like a stuffed sausage so i like to get it a little bigger and this one is extra special because let me turn it around so in the back you can see it's like open back and then you can adjust the straps so you can make it tighter you can make it looser so that's what i loved about it and that's why i decided to go a size up was because of that was because that you can adjust it so it's it'll be enough coverage that if i want to wear it out i can wear it out and when i wear it it'll be flattering to my body it won't be too small again 
I don't like the stuffed sausage look, especially for thicker girls like me. And then the top is like a halter top and you can also adjust it as well. This one had amazing reviews. It looks so good on and so flattering on the body. I think my favorite part is not only the back, but this right here looks so good and i really really love thick bodysuits for thicker girls like me it's kind of like hard to find bodysuits that look nice because i don't know i just kind of really don't like it i don't really, i'm not really a big fan of bodysuits but this one is a super high leg and this little detail on the side makes it look really nice and it's a deep v but not deep enough that it's too much it's literally perfect it's such a fire bodysuit super super cute literally 10 out of 10 i'm so excited this one was also one of my favorites it fit me a little snug, but we're gonna try to make it work. So here's the flower set. Look how cute, and it has little glittery flowers. So it's a thong. I thought it adjusted, but it doesn't, which is fine. It does fit, again, a little snug, but if you put it a little higher leg, even though it's more like low bottom thong-ish -ish type of thing, if you put it a little higher, if you put it on like this, then it fits a little better, but it looks really good. If I lose a couple pounds, it'll fit a lot better. This is the top. So the top has a little lace over here, kind of like this, almost kind of like the same design as that one, but not really. This one is a little bigger on the back, which I appreciate because I have a really, really wide back and it adjusts here on the straps as well. It's really pretty. I love this set with like some black fishnets or but no, not black fishnets. What am I talking about? With some black like stockings will look so fire, so hot. I love it. It's super, super cute and super playful and something different. And then... <laughs> Lastly, I got this one, which was a teeny weeny bikini, which the look that I did came out so fire. If you follow me on Twitter, I posted it on Twitter if you guys want to take a look. Like I said before, when it comes to my OnlyFans, I mostly talk about it on Twitter, not on my Instagram and like personals and things like that. And on YouTube is where I talk about it, but on my Instagram, I don't really talk about it all that much. But this one actually fit a lot better than I thought. Obviously, the top barely fit and same thing. I have I had to use double-sided tape in order to stay put, but and the bottoms were especially my favorite because you can adjust on the sides. So as you can see, it's bigger girl friendly. The top I would never wear out, but the bottoms I think I'd wear to tan. But yeah, this was my little preview of my little OnlyFans preview for you guys just to show you guys kind of like what looks I'm going for and yeah again i got all of these on amazon this i got it at a shop here in miami so i'm pretty sure you can find these on amazon as well but i'm gonna leave them all linked down below for you guys if you guys are interested another thing that i got on amazon because all i have is like rave glasses <laughs> like these i paired these rave glasses from doll's kilt with the neon green and black bathing suit and it looked so chic and so cool but i realized that i needed sunglasses like regular everyday sunglasses because my other ones from the beach are just completely ruined so i got these so these are like kind of is it 90s you want to say 90s early 2000 like chic glasses they're like the rectangle ones and i got these two for like 12 dollars, and they look so good so i got this one which is like a brown print and i got this one which is black let me show you guys Oh my god, I look crazy. I literally can't see because I don't have my glasses on, but this is what they look like. Isn't it super cute? I hope I don't look ridiculous. Because when I tell you guys my vision is so bad, I literally cannot see. And these are the other ones. Hold on. And these are the brown ones. I think they look super cute. I really hope I don't look ridiculous. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini haul that I had. Again, if you want to get sexy for your partner or sexy for yourself, I definitely recommend these. Recommend these. They're big girl friendly. They're thick girl friendly. So go off. Let me show you guys my nails and my feet, even though you basically saw my nails right now. But look at them. Look how good they came out. So here are my nails. So I kind of went for a clear quartz milky crystal type of feel and lately i've really been liking the square shape so i've been going with that usually i do coffin but this time i did square and i really like it what shape do you guys like to do your nails i honestly like all shapes i've never done stiletto just because i don't know they kind of scare me but i think my favorites would be really really long coffin then long almond nails i think are so classy and so nice and then square then stiletto but honestly, I don't discriminate. I love all nail shapes, especially long nail shapes. Also, do you guys prefer long nails or short nails? And then boom, here are my little chicken nugget feet. I got a little anklet at Claire's because it was buy three, get three things. And I also got a little toe ring, but I put it over there somewhere. But yeah, I had a little toe ring and I put my little anklet and I took a picture for OnlyFans and I was like, what's good? Who likes my nails? <laughs> Who likes my little, my little chunky feet? And then I also shaved half of my leg for the picture anything for the picture anything for the picture alrighty guys and that's about it for today's video i know today's video was kind of short i feel and not too exciting like i said earlier i've been a little all over the place 
since having COVID and like kind of getting back to things and still not having my smell and taste has taken a really, really big effect on me. But you know, taking it day by day. Also in other news, I might be moving out pretty soon. It's definitely in the plan. So keep me in your prayers for good luck. And hopefully I can start this new chapter in my life of finally being able to have my own space and being able to do whatever I want, whatever I want, film every single day with no excuses and no one bothering me and I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I'm really scared because I'm really close to my family and I've gotten really close to my mom during this time, during this whole COVID thing and we're really attached to each other but you know, it's part of growing up and I can't stay here forever and I think I'm gonna really miss my dogs and I might get another dog when I move out I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what life has planned for me but I'm really really excited to take this next step in becoming an adult and yeah, just wish me luck and send me all the good vibes and then imagine I'll be back on my YouTube grind I'll be able to film every single day and post videos up for you guys every single day it's just been hard to film every day now just because I don't know what to film because I don't have any taste buds I honestly might film a what's in my mouth challenge and just guess what people are feeding me i don't know with who i do it maybe my family maybe my friends since i can't smell or taste anything i feel like that would be really funny if you guys like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe below for more videos every single week i even forgot what to say make sure to follow me on all my social medias i'm on snapchat twitter instagram tiktok and only fans i love you guys so much make sure to stay safe be kind to one another and i will see you guys on my next one mm -hmm.